Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diane Call. I'm the Provost and Senior Vice President, and I'd like to welcome you to our Honors Convocation, a very special evening where our excellent students seated here in the audience join with our faculty and, of course, their family and friends to celebrate incredible accomplishments. So welcome. It's my pleasure to serve as Master of Ceremonies for this important event. And to begin, I'd like to introduce the college administrators and the faculty who have just processed to our stage. Dr. Eduardo J. Marti, President of the College. <laughs> Ellen Hardigan, Vice President for Student Affairs. <laughs> Liza Larios, Dean for Human Resources and Labor Relations. <laughs> Denise Ward, Dean for Continuing Education and Workforce Development. <laughs> Sherry Newcomb, Acting Dean for Finance, Facilities, and Information Technology. <laughs> Dr. Arthur Corradetti, Associate Dean for Accreditation, Assessment, and Institutional Effectiveness, <laughs> Academic Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Paul Jean-Pierre, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. Michelle Cuomo, Assistant Dean for Academic Affairs. I have to specially thank Michelle, who's done so much work with her staff to put this event together to celebrate our students' accomplishments. Thank you, Michelle. Dr. Paul Marchesi, Assistant Dean for Academic Operations. Arthur Perkins, Assistant Dean for Facilities Planning, Design, and Construction. <laughs> Dr. Antonella Ansani, Chairperson, Department of Foreign Languages and Literature. <laughs> Professor Stuart Asser, De Chairperson, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering Technology. <laughs> Ms. Cindy Bender, Award Sponsor. Thank you, Cindy. She's also an adjunct member of our faculty. Professor Shelley Bannon, Business Department. <laughs> Dr. Anne-Marie Bourbon, Department of Foreign Languages and Delegate from the Faculty Executive Committee. <laughs> Dr. Jonas Fallick, Chairperson of the Department of Business. Dr. Sharon Ellerton, Department of Biological Sciences and Geology, and a crowd favorite. <laughs> okay, uh, Lorraine and Janito, award sponsor, Business Department. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Kelly Ford, Business Department. <laughs> Benami Fryer, Director of Services for Students with Disabilities. Professor Jean Galvin, Chief Librarian of the Kurtz Meller Library. <laughs> Dr. Mel Gorelick, Chairperson, Biological Sciences and Geology. <laughs> Professor Ed Hansen, Business Department. <laughs> Dr. Irmgard Kahl, Award Sponsor, and Professor Emerita, Department of Chemistry. Dr. Aaron Crack, Chairperson, Department of Health, Physical Education, and Dance. Dr. Sharon Lal Ramlarin, Award, Special Awards for the Chemistry Department. Dr. Pellegrino Manfra, Department of Social Sciences. <laughs> Professor Christine Manzo, Department of Business. Mr. Donald Matthews, award sponsor. Mr. Kevin Matthews, award sponsor. <laughs> Professor Anne-Marie Menendez, chairperson, Department of Nursing. 
Dr. Kit Montgomery, Chairperson, Department of Music. <laughs> Professor Angela Pulakatis, Department of Business. <laughs> Professor Tammy Rothman, Department of English. <laughs> Mr. Emil Singer, Vice President of the Queensborough Alumni Association. Dr. Howard Sporn, Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. <laughs> Dr. Paris Savornos, Chairperson, Department of Chemistry. <laughs> Dr. Emily Tai, Department of History. <laughs> Dr. Gilmar Vishoni, Chairperson, Department of History. Dr. James Valentino, Chairperson, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Technology, and Design Drafting. <laughs> Professor Lisa Yonker, Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts. <laughs> Dr. Meredith Young, Award Sponsor and Professor Meredith, Basic Skills. <laughs> Mr. Morton Young, Martin Young, excuse me. Thank you, award sponsor. For all of our sponsors, a very special thank you for choosing Queensboro to give your support and for making this event happen, for helping so many of our students reach their dreams and helping our students go even further to greater heights. I really appreciate all the work that you've done to support us over many, many years for many of you. And I have to say a very special thank you to the staff of the Office of Academic Affairs, Bertha Sidkordorian, for whom we are most appreciative, Olga Salamanca, Carol Lemont, Bruce Grossman, Tim Hillis, Bonnie Cook, and the tutors of the Learning Center. Thank you, tutors. It is my very great pleasure and honor to introduce the president of Queensborough Community College, Dr. Eduardo J. Martin. Well, good evening. Everyone looks so nice. They don't look this way normally. No jeans, and in the hot weather, no shorts. They really look great tonight. And truly, I am deeply honored to welcome all of you to these proceedings. We, the members of the faculty and administration, friends and relatives, are gathered here to honor you, to honor your achievements. Some of you will be graduating Friday and will transfer to a baccalaureate granting institution. Others will be entering or continuing in the world of work. Others still will continue your educational endeavors here at Queensboro Community College. But all of you have already excelled. All of you have demonstrated your intellectual abilities. All of you have embraced the beautiful enterprise that is learning. Something special is happening here tonight. As I look into your eyes, I see a collective of people who, because of their innate ability and sheer determination, are among the very best this institution has to offer. Yes, you are the very best. And being the best at Queensboro Community College is no easy task. Something special is taking place here tonight. We, the administrators and teachers, have come here all dressed up in our regalia to honor you. All those months and sometimes years you have had to worry about what they thought of you, tonight there are no more worries. You know that they know that you are very, very good. Something special is taking place in this theater tonight. Tonight, 
we revel in the realization that our city and our state, and yes, even our nation, will be better off in the future because of these people. We revel because we know that when you finish your education, you will work, you will pay your taxes, you will have families, you will buy houses, cars, and consumer goods. And in fulfilling your American dream, you will make others' American dreams a reality. There will be people who will benefit from your work and from the taxes that you pay. There will be people who will build your houses, your cars, and your consumer goods. You will become part of the economic engine that so far has made every generation better off than the last. So we celebrate. We celebrate because our future depends on you. We celebrate because we know that our future is in good hands because Queensboro prepared you well. We at this college believe that to be an educated and thus productive member of our society, a person must have the ability to think critically. A person must have the ability to communicate clearly and effectively. A person must have a historical perspective that grounds their convictions. And a person must have a literary understanding and the aesthetic appreciation that enables them to enjoy human interaction. We know that our future is in good hands because Queensboro, as the portal of entry to the great City University of New York, opens limitless horizons. And we know that you will take advantage of what it offers, from Nobel Prize winning professors to cutting edge research to extraordinary opportunities in the arts, this university will give you a great education. It is your moral imperative to go on as far as you can, to grab every piece of intellectual morsel that is served to you, to enjoy the company of those who disagree with your points of view, in other words, to be a civilized human being. In ancient Greece, in Athens to be specific, young men were trained for citizenship, and before they were granted this exalted status, they had to take an oath, an oath that declared their services to the city-state of Athens. The oath is long, and I'm not going to bore you with all of it, but it ends with the following line. We will transmit to this city not less, but better, a more beautiful city than it was transmitted to us. Now that we live in a global society where city-states have no longer boundaries, you have the, your responsibility to your fellow human being to live, leave the world a little bit better than you found it. And you have started that path at this great institution. Take this path to wherever it takes you. Go as far as you can, and don't let life's defeats make you deviate from it. So something special is taking place here tonight. We are thankful for you. We are thankful for what you will accomplish in the years to come. We are happy for your accomplishments today. Again, it is an honor to be here to open the ceremonies I will sit and enjoy the evening as much as I hope that you do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Marti. Of the 15,000 students who are registered here just this semester, you've seen in front of you some of the very best of our students and more in the audience as they'll be announced later. Dean Michelle Cuomo will now come up to move ahead with conferring of departmental and special individual honors. Cuomo. Thank you, Dr. Call. I'm honored to be here on this joyous occasion. 
Student honorees, when I call your name, please take your time, come up to the front. You'll accept your award, and then I invite you to move to either side of the front of the stage until all of your department is awarded. We'll say congratulations to you, and then you can move back to your seat. The Biological Sciences and Geology Department Awards will be presented by Dr. Mel Gorelick, the department chairperson. The Dr. Tracy Gaines Jeffries Health Sciences Award is presented to Seong Kim. The Dr. Edith Lee and Herbert Schnall Endowed Scholarship is presented to Verona Young. Congratulations to the Department of Biological Sciences and Geology Award recipients. The Department of Business Awards will be conferred by Dr. Jonas Fallick, Chair of the Department, and he will be assisted by Professors Bannon, Ford, Manzo, and Pulikides. Might be getting a little crowded. Eh? <laughs> the Department of Business Award for Academic Excellence in Accounting is presented to Ding Shin Hu. The Academic Excellence in Office Administration and Technology is presented to Carol Del Rio. The Award for Academic Excellence in Computer Information Systems is presented to Parbati Kemraj. The Eva Bobro Incentive Award is for excellence by an evening graduating business student who has achieved an outstanding overall grade point average in one of the four associate and applied science programs in business subjects to the evening session. The Eva Bro Bobro Incentive Award for Excellence in Accounting is awarded to Terry L. Stuva for excellence in management, Rashida Johnson. For Excellence in Business Administration, Christina A. Edmonds. The Harry Berlin Award is presented to Richie Hronchich. The Doris Katz Memorial Scholarship Award to an outstanding graduating accounting student who has achieved academic success in English 101 and 102, Speech 211, Social Sciences and History electives is presented to Monica Quintero. The Marion Michelot Memorial Scholarship Award is presented to an outstanding graduating student from the Office Administration and Technology Program who has returned to college after a significant period of absence and has completed desktop publishing with an excellent grade, and that's presented to Melissa Giordano. The New York State Society of Certified Public Accountants to a graduating student with the highest grade point average in accounting is presented to Ding Shin Hu. The Michael Elliott Schwartz Memorial Certificate Award is presented to Constantine A. Shinghirtis. The Sydney White Memorial Scholarship Award is presented to Farah Emelian. The Queens County Chapter International Association of Administrative P Professional Awards will be presented by Lorraine Enginito, sp sponsor of the award. The Queens County Chapter International Association of of Administrative Professionals Award to an Outstanding Business Student in the Office Administration and Technology Program is awarded to Amy Bollock. Congratulations to all the Business Department Award recipients.
Our first Department of Chemistry award is the Irmgard F. Carl Award for Excellence in Introductory Chemistry, and it's being presented by Dr. Carl herself, who is a professor emerita of chemistry and former associate dean of academic affairs. The Irmgard F. Carl Award is presented to Roland Bergia. The remaining Department of Chemistry awards will be presented by Dr. Sforonos, Chair of the Department. The Anatole Mancott Scholarship Award is presented to May Mayat Mo. The Rose Mancott Award is presented to Byung Min Shin. The Bell Vader Mancott Memorial Award is presented to the following students. Esther Ahn, Juliet Baltonado, Bawani Persaud, Samantha Borsquiat, Christine Cassis, Rebecca Cho, Anibal Davolos Morinigo, Essa Ahmad, Gerasimos Columbus, Tor Nuri, Mauricio Murillo, Firmaus Payen, Bawani Persaud, Sahar Rufa, Noor Sardar, Byung Min Shin, Grace Song, Andre Smithson, Esther Yang, Verona Young, and Shiran Zavian. The Taylor and Francis Press Award for Excellence in General Chemistry is presented to Andre Smithson. The Dr. Jamie Lee Rizzo Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research is presented to Parsa Sharifi. The Professor Frank S. Rudo Award for Excellence in Chemistry and the Environment is presented to Pema Pema. The Dr. Edward Sarlo Award for Excellence in Organic Chemistry is presented to Byung Min Shin and Verona Young. The Paris Veronas Award is presented to Andre Smithson, and that is being bestowed by the award sponsor, Dr. Paris Veronas. Congratulations to the Department of Chemistry Award recipients. The Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering Technology Awards will be presented by Professor Stuart Asser, Chair of the Department. The Electronic Engineering Technology Department Award is presented to Gladys V. Yuka. The Computer Engineering Technology Department Award is presented to Jose Chamba. The Miro Brumnak Memorial Award in recognition of academic achievement and service to the department is presented to Anne Marie Chaudhary. The Martin J. Horowitz Memorial Award in recognition of academic excellence and service to the department is presented to Kutapov Dmitro. I'd like to thank Ms. Cindy Bender sponsor of the award for her presence here this evening. The Professor Gabriel Kusoro Award in recognition of excellence in the ETCT curricula is presented to Richard Rosario. The Professor Louis Nashelsky Award in recognition of excellence in the ETCT telecommunications technology or new media curricula is presented to Jorge Villavicencio. The Pasquale Savarez Award in recognition of excellence in the area of ET is presented to Taihe Piao and Jose Ramirez. The Underwriters Lab Award is presented to Mikhail Galilov. Congratulations to the Department of Electrical and Computing Engineering Technology Award recipients.
Thank you. You may sit down. <laughs> the Department of English Awards will be presented by Professor Tammy Rothman of the English Department. The Robert D. Crozier Awards for Outstanding Achievement in Literature and Writing are presented to Roland Munich and Tamara Sargent. The Hetty Jacobowitz Memorial Awards for Outstanding Journalism, Nonfiction Writing are presented to Meredith Carbonell, Luke Falsi, Lelosa Ivan Imasuen, Stanislav Mikhail Lichenko, Elma Rahman, and David Suarez. The Reginald and Eileen Kites Award for Outstanding Achievement in Literature and Writing is presented to Erin Santin. The Carolyn B. Raphael Award for a student who started by taking a basic skills ESL class is presented to Yasmin Obriwala. The Tony Pippolo Award for Excellence in Film and Literature is presented to Julia Speltonato. The Herbert Seitz Award is presented to Sheena Lewis. The Smithline Treffman Awards for Outstanding Achievement in Literature and Writing are presented to Shirley Asian Jewelry. The Dr. Harold Stollerman Awards for Excellent in English are presented to John Anthony Ford and Tanya Trevino. The Meredith Young Award is awarded to Katarzyna Stelmach. We thank Dr. Meredith Young, Professor Emerita, basic educational skills for the sponsorship of this award. Congratulations to the, to the Department of English Honors Award recipients. The Department of Foreign Languages and Literature's Award are presented by Dr. Antonella Ansani, Chair of the Department. The Department Award for Excellence in Spanish is presented to Esther Lee. The Double Language Award is presented to Michael Lorenz for his studies in German and Chinese. The Robert Davis Memorial Award for Excellence in French is presented to Daphne Nicholas. The Lorenzo Giorgio Memorial Award for Excellence in Italian is presented to Denise Rema. Congratulations to the Foreign Languages and Literature Award recipients. The Department of Health, Physical Education and Dance Awards will be presented by Dr. Aaron Crack, Chair of the Department. The Scholar Athlete Awards are presented to Kayla McCusker and Brian Flynn Kukurek. The Joanne Blumen Scholar Athlete Award is presented to Kayla McCusker. The Carol J. Bosick Sportsmanship and Humanitarian Award is presented to Laverne Hardy. Thank you. The Frank Egan Service Leadership Participation Award is presented to Jean DeRosier. The Mary Jean Arario Scholarship is presented to Alicia Sanchez. The Muriel Mannings Award is presented to Crystal Smith. Congratulations to the Health, Physical Education, and Dance Award recipients. The Department of History Awards will be presented by Dr. Gilmar Vizzoni, Chair of the Department.
The A. Joseph Geist Award is presented to Tanya M. Mignone. The Jake Dakota Memorial Award is presented to Aisha Farouk. The John W. Menegolt Memorial Award is presented to Julius Baltanato. The Sheila S. Polishuk Award is presented to Artem J. Antonetti. Congratulations to the Department of History Award recipients. The Department of Mathematics and Computer Science Awards will be presented by Dr. Howard Sporn. The Excellence in Math and Computer Science Award is presented to Jiwani G. Botehu. The Sydney Arick Memorial Award is presented to Fan Kit Sang. The Alan Barnes Award is presented to Sung Wan Lee. The Anthony Bear Award is presented to Rose Marianne Singh. The Bert Kleinman Award is presented to Yun Hao Wang. Congratulations to the Mathematics and Computer Science Award recipients. The Department of Mechanical Engineering Technology and Design Drafting Awards will be presented by Dr. James Valentino, Chair of the Department. The Cade Architecture Award for Outstanding Achievement in Architectural Design is presented to Isabel Cox. The Clive M. Hart Award for Excellence in Mechanical Engineering Technology is presented to Rosa Zaravia. The Harold E. Levinson Award for Excellence in Design Drafting is presented to Juan Cerro. Congratulations to the Mechanical Engineering Technology and Design Drafting Award recipients. The Department of Music Awards will be presented by Dr. Kip Montgomery, Chair of the Department. The Chorus Program Awards is presented to Alexandra Cadena. The Concert Program Award is presented to Taiwan Green. The Music Scholarship Endowment Award is presented to Hernan Coloma. The Matthew Barbier Memorial Music Scholarship Awards are presented to Timothy Chan and Julia G. The Kurtzweil Memorial Awards are presented to Jaime Acevedo, Brian Fairchild, Christian Lee, Oscar Lamus, the Tatiana Schwarzblatt Memorial Awards are presented to Amra Goda and Xavier Proel. Congratulations to the Music Award recipients. The Department of Nursing Awards will be presented by Professor Anne Marie Menendez, Chair of the Department. 
The nursing department awards are presented to Hyun Hee Wang and Xiao Min Wang. The nursing associates scholarship award is presented to Kelly Fama. The nursing education scholarship awards are presented to Don D. Gregorio and Carmen Sazbo. The Nurses Association Awards are presented to Gil Mandeep and Christine Porter. The Eva Bobro Nursing Award is presented to Gil Mandeep. The Eva Bobro Nursing Award in memory of Abdul Bowden is presented to Roman Fizibayev. The Irene M. Batista Awards are presented to Nishan Brown Clark, Marlena Coffey, and Christine Porter. The Roseanne Dykert Memorial Awards are presented to Yashani Singh, Ian Charles, Tiffany Greenidge. The Sylvia Weinstock Stitzel Endowed Scholarship is awarded to Christine Chang. The Mary Ellen Matthews Memorial Nursing Scholarship Endowments are awarded to Cheryl Daly and Olivia Hines. We thank Donald and Kevin Matthews for the sponsorship of this award and their presence here this evening. The Raoul Wallenberg Scholarship Award is presented to Kathleen O'Connell. Congratulations to the Nursing Award recipients. You deserve that. The Department of Physics Awards will be presented by Dr. Paul Marchese, Professor of Physics and Assistant Dean for Academic Operations. The Harry Schneider Award in Physics for Excellence in Astronomy is presented to Tanya M. Mignon. Congratulations, Tanya. The Department of Social Sciences Awards will be presented by Dr. Pellegrino Manfra, Professor of Social Sciences. The Naftali Levi Memorial Scholarship Award is presented to Michael J. Lorenz. The Mary M. McDougall Memorial Fund Award is presented to James Gonendez. The John Orth Riedel Memorial Fund Award is presented to Anna Wilga. The Julia Severals Scholarship Award is presented to Giora McElrath. Congratulations to the Social Science Award recipients. The Department of Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts Awards will be presented by Professor Lisa Yonker of Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts. The Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts Scholarship is presented to Erica Cosentino.
The Beverly Lockwood Memorial Award for Excellence in Theater Arts is presented to Uttara Ginar Singh. Congratulations to the Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts Award recipients. The Department of Student Affairs Awards will be presented by Dr. Sharon Lal Marine. Marine. The Ray Ricketts Memorial Award is presented this evening to Jose Dopwell. The Incentive Awards to students who demonstrate outstanding academic performance and are working parents are presented to Edwin Gonzalez and Patrick Hendrick. The Women's Club Award presented to current students, male or female, who have demonstrated outstanding leadership and service to the college community is presented to Sing Ying Lam. Congratulations to the Department of Student Award Affairs Award recipients. <laughs> Dr. Arthur Corradetti will now present the special awards. The alumni awards will be presented by Mr. Emil Singer, Vice President of the QCC Alumni Association. As before, I, I invite all alumni award recipients to remain standing until the awards, all the awards have been converted in, in that particular category. The QCC Alumni Association Award is presented this year to Danielle Stanky, who made excellent progress toward her degree, as well as participated in the college and or community service during the course of her college career. The Eva Barbro Alumni Award to a graduating business student in an Associate in Applied Science degree program is presented to Joseph Brunetti Lehash. The Eva Barbro Alumni Award to a graduating student in the Associate in Science Business Administration program is presented to Edwin Gonzalez. The following alumni awards are associated with the nursing department. The Alumni Association Ruth Blumenthal Awards for Outstanding Performance in Clinical Areas are presented to Rochelle D'Souza and Carol McCann. The Alumni Association Bernadette Robo Nursing awards are presented to Damaris Luco and Regina Tusk. The Alumni Humanity Nursing Awards are presented to the following. Deanne Jagrup, Melissa Antonow, Alexandra Bayona, and Alicia Paul. Congratulations to all the Alumni Award recipients. <laughs> Dr. Paul Jean-Pierre, Associate Dean of Student Affairs, will now join me on the stage. We'll to present the CUNY Leadership Awards.
the CUNY Leadership Awards to students who have displayed outstanding leadership within the college community and activities that are academic and service related are presented to Gladys Juca and Roberto Lobianco. Congratulations to the CUNY Leadership Award recipients. Ben Ami Fryer, Director of the Office of Services for Students with Disabilities, will now present the awards on behalf of his office. The Sidney Halper Memorial Scholarship Award, which was established by a former homebound counselor to honor the memory of his father, is given annually to a student with disabilities who exhibits outstanding leadership, community service, or scholarship. This year, the award is presented to Fern Schleichsinger. The Services for Students with Disabilities Awards in recognition of persistence and outstanding self-advocacy are presented to Melissa D'Angelo and Jillian Smith. Congratulations to the Students for Services with Disability Award recipients. The Service Learning Awards will be presented by Dr. Sharon Ellerton, Project Coordinator of the Service Learning Program. The Service Learning Scholar Award is presented to a student who exhibits dedication to the college and promise as a future leader. The recipient is Lee Kong Chen. Excellence in Service Learning Awards are presented to Shaziza Chintami and Kathleen Capagrosso. Congratulations to the Service Learning Award recipients. The Teresa Singer Award will be presented by Mr. Singer again, sponsor of the award and vice president of the Alumni Association. The Teresa Singer Award is for a graduating returning student who has completed more than 30 credits with an overall GPA of 3.3 in business. This year, the award is presented to Renee Wenzel. Congratulations. The All USA Academic Team Awards are presented by Dr. Emily Tai, advisor to the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. The awards sponsored by the Honor Society, USA Today, and the American Association of Community Colleges recognize academic excellence and scholarly achievement. This year, the recipients are Sin Ying Lam, and Anna Wilga, Anna Wilga. Congratulations to both of you. The 2010 Honor Scholars Program recipients have just been named under the direction of Dr. Paris Severonis. We're going to acknowledge them. The following students have achieved a 3.4 GPA or higher and accumulated 12 honors credits. When your name has been called, please stand and be recognized. Tressa Ambuken, Christine Casas, Enchul Kim, 
Esther Lee, Sung Wan Lee, Yin Lin, Nagai Hin Lo, Tur Nuri, Sahar Refua, Danielle Sagobanwo, Edmund Williams, Chi Kwan Wong, Bei Bei Ye, and Verona Young. Congratulations to all the recipients of the special awards. Thank you very much, Dr. Corradetti. I'm now pleased to introduce Dr. Paul Marchese, Assistant Dean for Academic Operations, to recognize students who have been named to the Dean's List and Honor Societies. The academic success that results in being named to the Dean's List for one or more semesters is a remarkable achievement. Students who attain this recognition have succeeded in an array of courses and with a variety of professors. Their successes have transcended any preferred subject. It is my distinct honor to announce this recognition to the Dean's List group. Each Dean's List student received a recognition lapel pin upon arrival this evening. I invite each of you to wear these recognition pins frequently as a tangible recognition of your achievement and as a personal reminder to motivate you to continue your excellent work and to inspire your colleague students to aspire to a similar level of achievement. Would the Dean's List students from spring 2009 semester please rise? Thank you. Would the Dean's List students from the fall 2009 semester please rise? Thank you. Would all those students who have appeared on the Dean's List more than one time please rise? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Dean's List, you have met a standard of excellence in your academic work that places you among a select group of undergraduate students nationwide. On behalf of the faculty of this college, I express appreciation for your seriousness of study. Members of the audience, please join me in giving a resounding recognition of this excellent work. Congratulations, scholars. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, initiation into a recognized honor society or special recognition group is based on demonstrated and sustained achievement and represents the highest recognitions available. It is my pleasure to recognize students who have been introduced into these various groups during the 2009-2010 academic year. Would the students who were named this year in Who's Who Among Students in American Junior Colleges please stand? Congratulations. Students inducted this year into membership into the Beta Eta chapter of the Alpha Sigma Lambda, the National Evening Honor Society, please stand.
congratulations. Students inducted to the Psi Beta Honor Society for Psychology, please stand. Congratulations. Students inducted into the Kappa Delta Pi Honor Society, please stand. Congratulations. Students inducted into the side chapter of the Alpha Beta Gamma National Business Honor Society, please stand. Congratulations, and congratulations to you all. Thank you. Well, that's quite a group, isn't it? I think they all deserve one more round, don't you? Very good. Thank you. For our honor recipients and their families and friends, uh, I invite you all to join us for a reception in the courtyard immediately outside the auditorium. In the interim, before we conclude, I invite Ms. Marla Adler to the podium to lead us in the college's alma mater, accompanied by Dr. Victor Fiquera on organ, after which the stage party will proceed from the auditorium. Please rise for the singing of the school song and remain at your seats until the stage party has exited the auditorium. Thank you. Okay, it's on page four. Page four, you're all gonna sing. Far beyond Manhattan's clutter stands a hilltop crown where a queen of alma mater overlooks the sound. Everyone, Queensboro, Queensboro, we will sing their praise. Come what may of joy or sorrow, we'll remember college days. Born of state and state and borough, proud to serve their need. Building toward a bright tomorrow for every race and creed. Queensboro, Queensboro, we will always sing your praise. Come what may of joy or sorrow, we'll remember college days. Big round of applause for you all. Yeah. Sure. 